we go again. Guess who's back in the mother house? All right, I'm just off a 40 hour fast uh, and I did do a detox protocol right here. As you can see, almost 40 hours, just a few minutes short. By the end of this, it'll be 40 hours and I did the Zen Cleanse one. So, liquid enzyme. Cheers. Findings are inconclusive because I still have yet to purge and I'm supposed to purge some mucoid plaque. Anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of the video is how good it feels to be clean. And most of the time, I don't know, I've been kind of feeling a little shitty when I wake up, overthinking, stress, this and that. My mind just wanders in all these places. But today, after fasting for so long, detoxing for so long, Purging here and there, it's always about the root cause. The root cause is where it's at. It's not about, oh, I feel sluggish, let me get some caffeine. Oh, let me go hit up some nicotine gum, or let me, fuck, like, utilize all the willpower I have in this life and in this world to go do the thing that I need to do. It's like going so uphill. While all those things definitely matter, solving the root cause resolves everything. Now that I've fixed this, like, I feel manic in like the best way possible. I just feel indomitable. I can just go take over anything, conquer mountains. That's why I'm about to go on a comp content rampage right now. I'm just gonna go rampage, make a fuck ton of stuff, and hit you with all the best things that I've been discovering in the last couple weeks because so much has happened and so much is about to happen. So, Solve the root cause, that's what it's about. Think about the things that are blocking you right now from everything that you're trying to do. What is the thing that is getting in the way? What is the big domino? And you have to think a couple layers deep because you know you might be thinking it's productivity and that because you're not productive, it's the habits and the this and the that. It's like, dude, just like stumbling around and realizing that it came back down to health. Even though I've learned this lesson before, it was it's just a game changer. So the thing is, it's not always a linear path. It's not always a linear path. You might think it's, you know, one degree down, two degrees down, and it's within the same realm. Sometimes it's a completely different realm that affects it all together. And that's why I want to talk to you today about how important it is to have a group of some sort, a mastermind, an accountability group. We are often blind to our own defects. Hence the term blind spot. I just got on a group call two days ago with my crew that I just did Tony Robbins Leadership Academy with and RPM with. And these two programs gave us the tool to be able to converse in the same language and be aware of concepts for how we can be better leaders, how we can lead ourselves better, and how we can be more effective in terms of designing and operating our own lives. And even with these skill sets and applying them, we all notice that each and every one of us had our own blind spots that were so obvious to the others. And so in this group context, we all received what those blind spots were, invaluable feedback that just completely changed the trajectory of how we're approaching this entire week, an entire project that we all are so excited to take on. Without that invaluable feedback, we'd be going down the wrong path or a path that's just like, you know, micro degrees off, but lead completely to a different direction, extrapolated over time. Crazy. It was probably one of the most uncomfortable calls that we've had in a while because everybody's just getting this feedback in such a personal way and in a per such a personal area, but tremendous benefit to each and every one of us. If you do not have that, you are literally operating with like two arms tied behind your back, even though you have your feet and you're able to walk you are going so slow and also add on some blindfolds. You might think, but you're just like feeling around and thinking that you're making progress, which you probably are versus not doing anything, but you're going so much slower and you might not even be going in the right direction. You have to triangulate. So root cause, what's the root issue? And getting smart people around you to give you the feedback to get a better sense of what is actually true, what's 
real at stake and what things we need to know about ourselves to go in the right direction. That being said, I'm gonna keep this one short. Ah, back in the house. More to you guys coming soon.